and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code Poodle at checkout for 20% off your order. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. Today, I'm going over a few things here with the market. So, first and foremost, guys, I'm going over the current crash that's happening and the impending crash. So, there's going to be a massive crash tonight and tomorrow, and there's going to be a pretty heavy crash. There's already a pretty heavy crash. So the blitz has pretty much crashed the market. We kind of anticipated this would happen, so it's not like it's that big of a surprise. But there's some current, there's some offers coming out that's going to crash the market, such as the Legend Fantasy bundle that just came out, the $30 Gridiron $100 bundle that was for $30. So that alone is going to send an influx of cards into the market. And it's only going to get worse. I'll tell you guys in a second why once we get through all this. There's some pretty big offers. I'm gonna go over the current prices that we see now, how it's crashing, and then I'm gonna go over the Offers that are coming that will literally destroy certain parts of the market and you guys better have your coins ready to buy Because tomorrow is going to be a great day to buy some cards with the blitz at its peak with some of the offers at its peak I'm telling you guys be ready get your coins ready because it's going to be a massive crash now guys before we get into this video Go down below hit that subscribe button turn that noti bell come join the family boys We're at about 13.3k can we get to 13.5k in the next two days spam that sub button also comment down below what you guys have what's your coin stack looking like right now What do you guys I recommend you guys have at least like 500k to a million coins ready for tomorrow or at least or at midnight be on at midnight honestly because that's when the stuff pretty much drops and then i'll go over the other stuff too and if you guys haven't already make sure to go below spam that like button can we get 350 likes in this market talk video if you start now we could probably hit it so everyone watching right now spam the like button i was heading over to the store to show you guys the offer that scares me the most so this offer actually ends in a minute so let me get over this so these right here so the legend blitz bundle the gridiron bundle that just left the store and the um theme diamonds already are gone there's an influx into the market but this pack right here the NFL 100 Centennial Pack, one hour door bus. This starts tonight at 12 midnight. Guys, this pack right here is going to kill more than like, if it is, if this is what we think it is, one, one random NFL 100, 94 overall, this will kill the market. Right now, the Lawrence Taylor stuff just came out. They're ready, they're ready, you can already make them for like above, about 650, 700K. So when this comes out, this is going to, like the Barry Sanders, the Emmett Smith, and all those guys, they're going to be down to probably like 350, 400K. They'll probably come down to like Michael Irvin and Night Train Lane Press. And Lawrence Taylor's, they might come down to like 550, 600. It's going to completely kill their value, guys. And another one that's coming later this week that's going to kill the market is this series Redux Fantasy Pack. This comes in about two days. So, not, not, not later this week. Two days from uh, tonight at midnight. That is also going to do it. Series Redux Fantasy Pack. So, people are going to be taking a lot of the best options they get out of those packs. I'm assuming it'll probably be like a three a three player pack where you pick one of them that's my assumption i doubt it's any redux pack although if there's any redux player that'd be pretty awesome but if, it, if that's that the market's dead so guys be ready for that back-to-back -back midnight banger pack so that's going to kill the market let's go to the market now and go over what we're seeing on it quite honestly because it's already pretty bad like guys it is brutal i heard that you can get trainings for like 14 point like coins per right now that's how bad things are let's go over to the 88s and 89 show you guys real quick some of the 88s are in the 40k range. Like, if we, let's filter some out. Let's filter out, see what we can find. Flashbacks are 36k, guys. Let me give you guys a training value on that real quick. 36, 350 divided by 2640. This is 13 coins per training. Do you guys understand how cheap that is? We thought it was hype and we we're like, wow, our first 33 coin per training offer, like a 33 coin per training option. Guys, this is 30, 13 coins per training. Training is at an all time low. If you ever want a training, make sure you go pick that up right now, guys. I'm telling you, that is one of the best available training options around. Now, it's going to probably even get worse. So you honestly could even wait. Like, if you want to now go ahead, but if you want to wait, I do not, I will not say anything against that. Let's go up to the 88s, 89s. Oh, we're there already. I meant to say, let's go up to the 89s going down. 89s are coming in at a whopping. 52k 51k and again if you filter them out probably 45k prices are crazy down so right now i'd recommend I, i'd even say buy but i might even want to wait till tomorrow because tomorrow with all the new stuff coming out like the centennial packs with all those high level like when the top cards in the game are being spammed in the block everything's gonna start coming down people are gonna be selling cards to buy those cards it's gonna be it's gonna be a it's gonna be a shit show it's gonna be bad i don't I forget what the 90s go for i believe they go for like 49 40 let's see if that's correct Let's see if we can get like 70k because I imagine that's what's going for divided by 49, 40, 49, 40. That's 14 coins per, and that's just me estimating. Like if I do this legitly, it's probably like a little under 13, or within the 13k range or 13 coins per training range. Training is way down right now. It's unbelievable. And guys, that Christian McCaffrey. I, I don't know about you guys, but when the Redux pack comes out, I recommend you maybe pick that McCaffrey up for like 70 to 80k if you can find it for that because 
He's gonna get a card soon. He's having a historic season. He's gonna get a, a massive Christmas card soon. Maybe even like a Blitz LTD or something. But I'm imagining maybe like a Christmas Master. And that card's gonna be insane. So I recommend you probably get that card ready because that will go up in value when the time comes. But as we keep moving on down the auction, let's go down to Redux players. So these Redux players right here, I'm gonna show you what they're going for right now. In that Redux Fantasy Pack, there's three random, you get to pick one. Oh, uh, you're probably gonna get a lot of bad pulls in there. You know, enough people will get bad enough pulls. So Cameron Jordan might come down to like 55k initially. That is the time when that happens, you guys. Training is gonna be below 10 coins per. Buy as many. That's my best advice, guys. This is like an advice video too for the market crash tomorrow. Well, that's for that's two days from now. The centennials I got too, but for for two days from now, guys, these will probably come down at that moment to like 55k, 50k. So you might wanna be on there at midnight and buy as many as you can because they will come back up to probably hopefully like 80k. You can make like 20k, 25k after reduction per. And that'll be an awesome, awesome value for you guys. I'm telling you guys wanna be ready for that because that's gonna it's gonna crash down bad. Now let's head over to the 92 10 D3s. Check out the reduxes here. 154 from Matt Ryan. Let's see what is, what are some good options here that are gonna come down. Michael Vick 299. 299 for Michael Vick. Honestly, I might even pick that up. I kind of needed a new quarterback and I don't really want to buy Lamar. I have him fully powered up already. He's going to be a little slower, but he's going to have a way better throw power, way better throw deep. He's kind of similar to that full Lamar card, except that full Lamar card does have way better speed. But honestly, guys, this Vick's probably going to be like 210 when that happens. His luck's going to be in the 250 range. Rob Gronkowski, wow. Guys, so much stuff is cheaper now. I kind of wish I saved my coins. I really do wish I had saved my coins for this crash because I, I spent that at a bad time. I really did. I could have made so many more coins. I knew the blitz would be bad, but I didn't, I didn't think it would kill it like this. Kittle's probably going to be in the 350 range. Dion Moss, Donald, all going to be below 500k. It's going to be bad when it happens, especially if people buy enough of them. Now, let's check out the regular side of the market here because clearly things are not looking too great here. Either the base legends, guys. You can pull some you can get some great stuff out of here people are pulling these left and right they just dropped the legend fantasy bundle for um, a discounted rate pretty much it came with extra stuff so that definitely killed it a little bit let's head over to the 94 to 95 range and talk about these centennials and some of the other cards naturally and, and um, michael Irvin are finally coming back up a little bit they were at one point in the lower range of like 320 315 so if you guys scooped them up for that price good for you guys because quite honestly that is a great great deal right there now if we get the program let's go check out the nfl 100 NFL 100 players are going for, it appears, 435 for Emmitt Smith. Guys, if this Centennial pack is what we believe it is, he's going to come out to like 350. Going to be a great value. I don't know what they quick sell for, because I can't do the math through there, but it's definitely not, it's definitely a lot they quick sell for. Jim Brown, 498. All these cards are going to come down probably, I think every running back here will come down below 500k. And as you can see, Deacon Jones and Bobby Bell are not too far behind. So they'll probably come down to the 500k range, or even high 400s. Now, the big banger here that I really want is going to be Lawrence Taylor. After that whole crash, him and Reggie White should probably come down to the below 500k range. I'm telling you guys, because they're going to be, if, if as many people I think are going to buy them as that there's, there's going to be, it's going to come down a ton. Think about it. If everyone's pulling them, they're going to spam the blocks. You want to be on there quick. You want to be doing it right when that pack drops. Once you get yours, if you are doing it, be there. But remember, the server's probably will crash for a little bit. So you're not going to be able to get it. And within that first 10 minutes, you're probably not going to be able to even get on the auction block. So you're going to have to wait a little bit. So you might not get the best prices, but again, people might not even be able to post them. So it's not going to make the biggest of difference. But guys, I'm telling you, the Centennial Pack's going to kill it. The market's going to be dead for it. It's not going to recover. I don't think the market will recover too well. Only way it recovers is if Christmas has a new currency and there, or there's training. And it, if anything needs training, that's the only way it's going to recover. But until we need training for something, maybe a Christmas Plus that uses a little bit of training will help. But the market's going to be dead for quite a while. I don't think it's going to recover. I don't think anything can really recover besides like a massive, a massive training vacuum that just needs training. But I'd recommend, guys, if you can get them for cheap, I'd recommend you either pick a Barrier, Eric Dickerson, and then Lawrence Taylor and Reggie White. Those are kind of the four right there that I would recommend. You definitely have to scoop up when the market does completely just die and get obliterated. And then, like I said, the Redux one comes out in two days at midnight, which will be, what's today? Saturday? It'll be coming out tomorrow, tonight. So Sunday night. Sunday night at midnight. So about a day and a half from now, that's when that's going to come out. So be ready for that too, because the Redux, again, if you can get anything good out of those, I think it's a worthwhile pack, right? The, to get the two Redux packs, it's going to cost you about 20 bucks. So 20 bucks to potentially get at worst case scenario, you get like 200K at best case scenario. Or let's say, well, no, I wouldn't sell them right away, guys. If you pull one of the better, if you pull any of them, I probably wouldn't sell them. I'd probably wait for them to come back up a little bit. But initially, they probably could probably get at worst like 150K. And at best case scenario, maybe make like off both of them like a million coins if you were to pull like two Dion's or something. Very unlikely, but it's possible because you have three options, which definitely helps. I like the fact that you have three options. I'll probably have those packs on video for you guys. Yes, I will be spending money. It's about that time. The deals are too great. I'm low on coins. Definitely need to get that done. And then so I can have coins because I can't really auction. That's the issue. Like I have so many good auction advice for you guys, but I can't do any of it without coins. 
I would love to pick up some cards tomorrow during the crash. I have to find a way to get coins today. I really do. But guys, that is about it for the video. Hope you guys did enjoy. I hope this helps you guys. Be prepared. Get your coin stack ready to go. I wouldn't recommend selling things right now. I wouldn't recommend buying things. I'd probably just wait until the Centennial packs come out and see the damage that gets done. And then the Redux packs, obviously. But after the Blitz is over, prices should come up a little bit. So make sure you buy what you kind of want before the Blitz. And then sell back everything closer to Christmas. You'll probably have like a two-week window where you can enjoy cards for a little bit. But that's about it. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn that on bell, boys. Come join the family. If you haven't already, comment down below what you plan to do today to attack this crash that's going to happen. And if you're going to be opening those packs, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Can we get 350 likes on this market video? Middle of the day, before all the other offers come out, I'm out. See you guys next video. Peace.